Let's talk about the legendary BMW 30 EA error. That one which lights up your dashboard and ruins your piece just as you hit the on-ramp. This isn't your run-of-the-mill check engine light. It's an SOS from your Denox catalytic converter. I get so many messages from frustrated BMW owners about this. The 30 EA code usually means your Denox catalytic converter has gotten sulfurized, which sounds like something from a dystopian novel, but is way more annoying in real life. Here's what's actually happening. Over time, low quality diesel or even certain additives leave sulfur deposits inside your converter. Sulfur, as innocent as it sounds, eventually clogs up things and your emissions system starts working about as well as a coffee filter made of cheese. You'll notice more than just a glowing warning light. People often report their BMW starts going into limp mode, losing all that silky German power. It feels like you're suddenly towing a freight train instead of cruising in luxury. Not the ultimate driving machine you were promised. If you're wondering if you can ignore it, ask yourself, do you like failing your next emissions test and spending hundreds more later? The catalytic converter is literally designed to cut nitrogen oxide emissions up to 90 to cent when it's working correctly. So yeah, it matters a lot. Curing sulfurization isn't just a matter of running a tank of premium fuel. Once those deposits harden, they're not coming out with a simple Italian tune-up. This has left owners disappointed more times than a Portland Trailblazers playoff run. Step by step. First, scan your BMW with a quality OBD tool. Not just any Bluetooth gadget, but one that can read BMW-specific codes. Otherwise, you're playing diagnostic roulette. Save yourself the frustration of guesswork. If the code is 30EA and your NOx sensor looks fine, it's time to investigate the converter. Sometimes a forced regeneration can clear minor sulfidation, but this is really just a band-aid over a gunshot wound. That regen process heats things up, trying to burn off deposits. Pro tip, never, ever reset the code without fixing the actual issue. Not only is it illegal to bypass emissions logic in most places, including here in Oregon, but you're just setting up a bigger bill down the road. Trust me, nobody enjoys surprise $3,000 repairs. If the forced regeneration fails, replacement is the most effective, if painful, fix. BMW catalytic converters aren't exactly stocking stuffers. Expect $2,000, $4,000 fitted at the dealer. More if you need sensors, too. Independent shops can save you hundreds, so always get a quote. Some online Miracle Fix products claim they desulfurize magically. I'd put these on par with Bigfoot sightings and emails from Nigerian princes. Zero real-world proof, so don't waste your cash hoping for a cheap miracle cure. Best way to prevent this? always stick with top-tier diesel fuel and avoid questionable additives. That alone can cut your risk of a repeat by at least half. Think of fuel quality as insurance for your emission system. Compromise here and you'll pay dearly later. Every time I see someone ignore the 30 EA, it never ends quietly. So if you love your car or at least don't want it to bankrupt you, deal with it head on. Trust Scott from Portland. BMWs are brilliant, but only if you keep the science project under the hood humming along.